both of us want to provide. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'd say two things to you. First of all, the purpose of the mobile library is to reach children whether or not they're in school. And the great thing about a mobile facility is that it can go out into communities, rural communities, as well as uh, urban uh, communities. And we in the IRC have a lot of experience of community-based education, even where there is no uh, schooling. Secondly, we're not in the school building business. That's not our responsibility. That's obviously yeah, led yeah. uh, by the governments, the provincial governments of Pakistan after your 18th Amendment. There's now a decentralization. I was in Punjab yesterday and in Lahore and had a very extensive briefing about the commitment to extend the schooling system, which is important to raise enrollment rates. And I heard from the Prime Minister on Monday that the federal government of Pakistan is committed to doubling Double the, the educational investment from 2% of GDP to 4%. 4 yeah. And that's obviously very important because the donors can make their contribution, but obviously this needs to be led by a schooling system within the country that is effective. What you see behind us is a prototype. In other words, it's an example of what can be done. And the number of buses that are included in the program, in the end, will be, depend on the number of partners that we can find. So it's not just USAID who is going to be providing the buses. It's meant to be a partnership with a wide range of uh, uh, organizations who see this example and then try and build on it. OK. okay. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Thank you very Thank much. You.